Salak ek on kram to smile of the camera. Guys, and so the journey begins. We've just left Andorra and we've got a really long way to go and I'll tell you all about it now. I've got a training partner with me, ex-teammate Hayden Strong. Are we all ready passport? No, did you? Yeah. Okay, so we're on the top of our first climb of the day. This climb took us about an hour and it's a really like 20k climb out of Las Heu in the direction of Sort. Scom wheels, Pardes, Spark Evo. Um, got like some warm clothes in there. Um, gels, food, rain jacket, two bottles of carbs. If you don't have mountain bike shoes, you know that these rocks fuck up your carbon at the bottom, but uh, these aren't new shoes, so we don't care. We don't want to run and jump. <laughs> Are you going to jump? Yeah. Come on, I'm praying yeah. all the way to the valley. Uh, yes. Port de Canto, 1,700 meters above sea level and pretty gnarly. Check out this guy in front of us doing it in a different way. Maybe he'll catch us on the downhill. I don't know. Hey guys, so Aiden is just here behind me, taking his uh, time change, putting on his velatos. He's gonna pace in the front now. We all good. We two and a half hours into the ride, feeling good. We're on a nice descent now, and we're heading into the town of Sort. So we're really excited to see what's down there. But then there's a lot of climbing still coming up. Up. I think I don't know if Sort just, is front just now. Just a little bit more wee wee. Yeah, I don't know. So we're in our first town of the day, Sort, and uh, we don't have a lot of stopping time, but uh, no, not bad, not bad, yeah. The sun is teasing a little bit. It's quite chilly. Yeah. It's just tech point. Yep. Want a banana? <laughs> no, I'm okay. I don't want a banana. Our first garage stop of the day after three hours, and it's going to be a quick one, and then we're leaving again. Aiden, so update us on the status so far. We're 102 k's in. Ooh. We're in a valley road between two major climbs. Yeah, yeah. The Col de Perasor is coming up. Mm -hmm. And um, why have we been enjoying it so much now? Oh, we've had a tailwind. Chickens are being counted. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's been, been lucky. A... I think it would be a, it'd be no bueno if we had a hit. We'd probably be game over. Go back. Yeah. Ride the surf back. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be cuddling up next to Willie in one of these, <laughs> these oh trees over there. It's getting quite quiet here. We're getting up Porto Bonagua, 12 k's at 6%. Peaks at 2,100 meters of sea level and check this out. Beautiful misty mountains. <laughs> Doesn't really help. Looking forward to the downhill though. Mm. Hmm. My specialty. Your specialty. You ever wanted to be a backpacker, Hayden? Nope. Fuck. Coffee. Everything.
Top of Port de Bonagua, 2017. Oh. Uh, you've made it. You famous now, let's go. Okay, so we're about to start for the Portillon. We just had a freezer down Port de Bonagua. It was extremely cold. Um, we actually stopped to we actually stopped to change our underwear and redress, and we were like shaking all over. And uh, our boy there, Hayden, has lost his sense for humor, I think. <laughs> Putting back on the rain jackets because I'm going to get cold, make the same mistake as on called the Bonagua. Houdini, how's the spirit? Good. Is high, there any actually, spirit? Surprisingly high for seven hours in after freezing out. Fuck. I'm freezing. I'm going to put my jacket. Cheers. Okay, so we've just descended. And uh, we're heading to the Col de Perasur, very famous. Uh, we're freezing, obviously, as you can see, I've got my Tartusa Magic Rain Jacket on. And uh, this town is Banieres de Luchum. Uh, we don't really care what fucking town it is. We're freezing, we're hungry. A very good day for a Willy. A very good day. Wait, Col de Perasur. Just want to make sure it's not focused. <laughs> okay, so we just stopped at a bakery. We are in and uh, freezing, freezing conditions. If you have a shit tomorrow, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was in good order. Okay, so we're almost at the top of Col de Perasut and uh, it'll be quite tough. It's quite late, it's already 7 p.m. All the better suit. Here we go. <coughs> no time for messing around. That was 13.7 k's at 6.7%. That's illegal to use the people's bedding as clothes. Sometimes life can be tough And you feel like you just had enough When you're thinking everything is gone Okay, good morning guys uh, Really froze up yesterday Nine hours, 221 k's and uh, about four and a half thousand meters of climbing. We wanted to do, do much more. Unfortunately, we were freezing. But uh, the Pyrenees and mountains are waiting for us. And uh, it's promised to be another stunner day, but we're going to try and prevent the rain. This jacket I've got on me like Batman, Superman, because it's all still wet. I can't Is your kid dry yet? Somewhat. Ready for the Py Pyrenean mountains. Let's go, boy. So this was our room, so we stayed after the trip. Pretty cool. Um, the heating just doesn't work, sorry about that. Bathroom's pretty cool. And this guy was really nice. He put this plastic here for us to not make his floor wet. And this is our accommodation.
Kuru is we stopped here yesterday and now we're getting the same refill after called the Perasor and it's going to be pretty cool. But this time we dry and that's good. We've got high morale and our bike, our bikes are waiting outside. We'll see. Did this cafe save us? At the foot of Calder Perasort. Yesterday yeah. we were here soaking wet. We didn't need it this morning, but it was just to like. Pay we didn't have a good breakfast though. Mm. Yeah. At, at from where we travelled from. I there. had quite a few pieces of toast or whatever that cheese <laughs> loaf was, but. Yeah. How's the bike holding up? Yeah, good. Good. Doesn't look as sexy as yours. No. Now mine looks sexy. It just doesn't feel fast. Mm. Still need to pedal it yourself. But. Fuck, dude, where, where, where does this guy go? <laughs> Fuck, he went straight over the cliff. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah. just a moment of appreciation here. Yeah? Yesterday it was just raining, raining, raining. Came down this section. It looked quite beautiful. But today we can actually appreciate it. So, just checking in halfway through this ride, and uh, well, not halfway, <laughs> but uh, it's a long way back to Andorra. But every kilometer we're doing without rain currently is a blessing. Hayden, this has been a steep one. Wow, um, Hola, buenas, buenas. Okay, we've just crested the top of called the Portillon. And uh, yesterday we are freezing up here, but uh, much better today. Okay, so we're moving through the town of Biela and we're not going to stop. We're going to try and avoid the rain. We're going to try and make it over this time, Porta Bonagua. And in the valley between Porta Bonagua and the next climb close to Sort, we are going to look for a garage. So uh, we're trying to ride out the good weather for as long as it lasts and stop almost never. Yes. Oh, I get them. I, I. Just remember that I'm here to cheer you on. Yeah. I want to pick you up from the ground Let you know that I'm always around Cause I know we can make it Yes, we can make it If we try Keep on trying I believe in you Bonagua, uh, 89 k's in, 2,900 meters of climbing already, um, in just under five hours. But uh, we've been blessed with the weather, it's not been raining like yesterday. Uh, I'm going to allow Hayden to put on a jacket now, I can see he's freezing. Is that true? Yeah, chilly. That's true. Um, there's a nice uh, dam here, which I'll show you while Hayden gets dressed. Um, Hayden, tell us about your backpack here. Quite big. Does it touch the wheel? Fuck, it always touches the wheel. Almost. I don't have much uh, seat posts to deal with, unfortunately. Yeah. So, yeah. To use this. That's true. What do you think about this ride, though? Nice. But, uh... People's been giving me quite a lot of slack because of the... No handlebar tape. I think that's how we should go, like long socks. It should be in fashion like long socks. Or not? Do I think that? Yeah. I think whatever trend 
Willies and braces? <laughs> it's probably not trendy. You've heard it. You heard it from the horse's mouth. Okay, let's head down that long descent. We're going to enjoy that. Okay, so we're heading out of the last town and this is also our last climb. And what better way to finish the day off with the longest climb of the day, Port Canton de Sort. And uh, we're leaving the town of Sort, which is the last town before Las Vegas we'll be passing through. And this climb, Port Canton de la Sort, is 19 k's at five and a half. Five and a half percent, it's gonna hurt. Okay, guys, halfway up Porta Canton del Sort, and we're getting there slowly but surely. We are getting closer to Andorra. Dude, that looks gnarly. gnarly. Crossing to the Andorran border, over the Andorran border, being Andorra, and uh, all the way down here from the Alps. <laughs> Dude, that looks gnarly. Oh, that looks gnarly. What's up, everyone? Thank you for watching so far and joining me on this journey through the Pyrenean Mountains. Um, I'm specifically doing it for one of my bucket list items, the Munga. Um, in South Africa, it's a 1,150 kilometer gravel mountain bike race, which you try and do as quick as you possibly can. So if you want to support me on this journey, any, any, any sponsorships when you get involved. So fingers crossed, we'll get there. I'm trying my best. I'm doing a lot of preparation. I'm taking it quite serious. It's always been a bucket list and uh, I'm looking forward to take you on my journey there. Um, as I prepare for this so remember to subscribe like comment and all the support is always appreciated thank you guys for this journey it's the end of the year my racing season with the team has come to an end and already looking forward to 2024 no, you're feeling it. I got you feeling it.